At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And First Timothy two seven says, Paul. This is Paul writing. For this I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I'm not lying. As a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. He says, for this I was appointed, right? Mm -hmm. What is this? I don't know what is this. For the word of the cross. Uh, right. Okay? <clears throat> because at the, at the end of the day, it's all about the word of the cross. We, it seems to me that we've, we've, to a great degree, lost sight of that in the, in the church today. You know, Paul wrote to the Corinthians in, Corinthians in the first chapter, 118. And he said, for the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And then he goes on to say in, in the second chapter of First Corinthians, when I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of God, for I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. There's an awful lot of, you know, there has to be a just balance. But the focus is always, always on the redeeming work of Jesus Christ that makes the atoning work. It makes us possible for have to have a right relationship with God mm -hmm. the Father. Yes. That's what it's all about. You know, uh, it's not about God wants you rich. It's not about being healthier, happier, well. I mean, those things may come, but that's not the focus. That's not the point. The point is that we are here as ambassadors for Jesus Christ. We are here to bring that good news, to proclaim that good news to a dark and dying world. We are to bring the knowledge of the presence of Christ Jesus into every place. That's the focus. And if we have that same heart, that same spirit, that same willingness that Jesus Christ did to lay down his life, for, then, you know, don't make this whole planetary life about your life right. and what you can get. Because it's not about for this time. It's about eternity, spending eternity yes. with him. That's why we need to be going out there and telling people. Life is not about what you can get. Life is about what you can give. That's right. And you have been entrusted with a lot to give. You have been entrusted mm -hmm. with the word of the cross. Because the word of the cross is the demonstration of God's love. I'm, I'm telling you, this is what turned Paul into a man who turned the Roman world upside Same down. Yes. Because he understood and knew the love of God. Mm -hmm. And he, you know what? He, he proclaims himself to be the foremost of sinners. And yet, that makes him the foremost receiver of grace. He, he knows what God saved him from. He knows what he was before he became that new creation in Christ Jesus. Because none of us deserve it. No, you know, it's, it's not long ago uh, that Billy Graham passed away. And I, I think I may have upset some people when I said, you know, Billy Graham didn't deserve to go to heaven. Well, the not fact of the matter is, there's not a human us. being on this planet who deserves to go to heaven. Otherwise, it wouldn't be grace. Right. Amazing grace is the fact that not one single one of us, there is none good, not even one. We are all sinners and have fallen short of the glory of God. We are all not deserving mm -hmm. of that gift of God. That's why it's grace. That's why it's amazing grace. He gave us what he, he gave us what we didn't deserve. And he took what we did deserve and gave it, put it on Jesus Christ on that cross. He who knew no sin became sin for our sake. He took all the evil. Jesus Christ got what we deserve for the wages of sin is death. He, and you know what? So he gave up his life as a ransom. Oh.